Can you please not touch anything? Part of the fun of working on a set is finding what you can take home afterwards. While it's not always the best practice, the Stranger Things actors have done their fair share of swiping from the set, keeping special props and costume pieces from the show with the hope that they won't get caught. Which actors stole the most items from set? Let's do some investigating. I've thought about stealing things and never have. I'm a good boy. Oh, oh my god. See? Number one. Who wants to go for a roll? Thanks to his sticky fingers, Noah Schnapp can go roller skating anytime he wants with his very own pair of 80s style Stranger Things roller skates. I'm so bad at this, I'm like Bambi on ice. No, you're good. But he wasn't shy about taking them. The actor explained, I brought the roller skates home. I had everyone sign them and then took them home with me. Okay, we've got to be honest. That's an epic set steal, and if we had a chance at getting a signed pair of roller skates from this cast, well, we'd be all over it. Number 2. Millie had a bloody good time on the set of Stranger Things. My blood that I put in my nose. For real though, how many times do we think she had to perform nosebleeds on the set? If blood made her squeamish before, she'd certainly faced her fears and gotten real comfortable with it. So comfortable that she wanted to make sure she had some with her, even when she wasn't on set. That seems to be the only logical reason as to why Millie would have stolen a small vial of Eleven's fake blood to keep in her memento box. This is one she'll never forget, that's for sure. And we hope she doesn't forget that she stole it, otherwise that discovery could be a bit freaky. I have a memory box where I keep all my lipsticks from every award show I went to, my envelope from the MTV Awards, and then the blood from Stranger Things. Number 3. Keeping cozy is worth stealing for. Sadie Sink has been pretty good about not taking too many things from set, but she just couldn't leave without bringing something with her. It wasn't like a costume, it was just like a warming jacket from wardrobe. It has like... It's just a jacket? She even caught Noah by surprise. And while it is suspect, Sink has explained that this wasn't a purposeful swipe, but not everyone seems totally convinced. Again, um, accidentally. No, but like, accidentally. Number four. It would have been pretty easy to leave the set with these costume pieces. We have no doubt Noah Schnapp makes a decent paycheck doing Stranger Things. So we are a bit confused that he felt compelled to steal this particular costume piece. I took a bunch of underwear, but that's really it. They must have been comfy, no doubt. We wonder if anyone from set noticed he'd become an underwear thief. Number five. Shoplifting ain't cool, Millie. But does it really count if it's a fake mall? On Stranger Things, I took... She went full tilt in the Starcourt Mall, having a full-on shopping spree on set, without any money involved, of course. It was definitely a set store, but I did take um, like corduroy jeans and a stripy red and blue t-shirt. And while it might have been a fake Gap store, the clothes were real and they looked good. No wonder she kept that stuff for herself. Number six. It seems like Millie was a bit desperate. What other explanation could there be for her stealing such a small and random item from the set? Or maybe she was just trying to be like Noah. I took a lot of socks. Any guesses on whether or not Noah stole more underwear or Millie stole more socks? Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll never know, but we can imagine the wardrobe department wasn't too impressed with having to replace all those stolen necessities. Number seven. We've got our eyes on you, Caleb. When it came time to talk about what he swiped from set during an interview, Caleb McLaughlin was pretty strategic about it. Luckily, he saved himself from letting any spoilers slip, but he also outed himself pretty obviously. We know he stole something, but whatever it was continues to remain a mystery. Accidentally, I took uh, like something from set from season three. We wonder if he ever got caught. Number eight, he looks pretty suspicious. Is it just us, or does Noah look like he got caught in the hot seat? We move on. Right. Mm -hmm. Did, uh, never took it. Okay. So we've established there is an it that he stole, but what could it be? Since Sadie Sink gave the actor a look indicating it's not something Noah should probably talk about, it seems like his lips are sealed. We won't push it. But we just can't help but wonder what memento he snuck off set with. And we doubt he's talking about the underwear in this case. Number nine. For real, real though. I did a show called Intruders um, when I was nine years old. She may have been young, but even early on, Millie knew that you've got to take advantage of being on set by keeping any cool things you can. I took a lighter 
from the set. It was a prop being used on set, but of all things, why did she need it? What did she plan to do with it? The special lighter from Intruders wound up going into her memento box with souvenirs from other productions. That lighter could always help her find her light, that's for sure. Number 10. Finn Wolfhard might have some answers on this one. When he was filming Ghostbusters, there were plenty of opportunities to snag all the ghostbusting materials. But that wasn't what appealed to the actor. I kept some shoes that I wore um, on the new Ghostbusters movie. Hey, if the shoes were good enough for ghostbusting, then why not stick to them? While he did swipe the shoes, generally, Wolfhard is pretty good and hasn't actually stolen much from set. When asked if he'd taken anything from the Stranger Things set, he very openly shared that he's never stolen anything from that set in particular, for fear that the production team would end up needing whatever he stole at some point and then he'd be found out. That said, he has confessed to wishing he stole the Richie glasses from the movie It. There's stuff that I regret that I didn't keep. Like, I wish I kept the Richie glasses. And who knows? There is hope that maybe he'll get them in future. You never know, maybe I could get those back. Number 11. When you know, you know. Any fans of Enola Holmes will know that Millie formed a very special bond on set with one of her, well, her Dash. I took Dash, which you will see. This set swipe definitely makes sense, and she was the title character, so we guess Millie had some leeway in terms of what she could keep from set for herself. Extraordinary. <laughs> While she did swipe it, she had said before that it was a gift, but no one has confirmed that fact either. What we do know is that Dash isn't the only thing Millie kept from the Enola Holmes set. Number 12. Millie's Got the Tools and a corset. I must become something unexpected. The Stranger Things actress has spent plenty of time in a harness doing stunts for the sci-fi show. But in Enola Holmes, she was dealing with a very different kind of restriction. And instead of being glad about saying farewell to a typically uncomfortable and annoying costume piece, Millie wanted to keep her corset for herself. Maybe she wanted to remind herself of the struggle she endured while filming? Or it could just be that she loved getting her posture in check. And that corset will certainly do the trick. Being so young, these movies and shows are a pretty formative part of the Stranger Things actors' lives. So it makes sense they'd want to keep these mementos from their various projects. Whether they were kept for practical reasons or just the memories, everyone seems pretty cool with the practice of swiping some stuff from set even if it does have to be kept a secret for a while to make sure no one gets in trouble. Which proper costume piece would you want to swipe from the Stranger Things set if you had the chance? 